Hello students, now come to the next exercise 6.8 of this chapter fraction. First question. Change the given improper fraction to mixed fraction. As I told you in my earlier explanation, what is improper fraction? When the numerator is greater than the denominator. Here you can see all the numerators are greater. 7 is greater, 9 is greater than 4, 7 is greater than 3, 14 is greater than 5, 20 is greater than 3. So there, these are what? Improper fraction. These fractions are, can be converted into mixed fraction. Mixed fraction means there will be a number. <coughs> Suppose, let me do this one and you can understand this part. Okay, It is the mixed fraction means a sum of whole number and a proper fraction. See, solution. How we will convert this one? Directly we will use 9 by 4. So 9 is divided by 4. Let me write here 9 by 4. Okay. Simply the division part here. You will show the division in your copy. Okay. Now 4 to the 8. How much? Denote is 1. So remember that 4 is already there in the denominator. So we will write 4. This quotient will become our whole number. This is 2. And this remainder will come here. Okay. See 2, 1 by 4. <coughs> in this way, we can convert this thing in the mixed fraction. So, this is our mix. Why mix? Because it is mixture of whole number as well as a proper fraction. 1 by 4 proper because denominator is greater than numerator. That's why 2, 1 by 4. You have understood now? Now come to this part. For this one, equal to 7 by 3. How we will write? C. <coughs> 7. It is 3. 3 to the 6 carry 1. Here again, 3 is the denominator, we will write denominator. This quotient, quotient will become our whole number. So 2 and 1 remainder, it will become our numerator. So 2, 1 by 3. Is that clear? Now come to this part. 14 by 5. See, 14 by 5. 5, 3 is a 15. It will be greater. So 5 to the 10. How much we are getting? 4 as a remainder. So once again, I want to say that 5 is the denominator, so 5 will always be in the denominator. The quotient part will become our whole number, that is 2 here, and this 4 become our numerator, 4. So in this way, we will convert. <coughs> now, come to the last one, 20 by 3, we will try to divide it, 20 by 3, you know, see, 3, 6, 18, Okay, and 3 is 21. It will increase. 3, 6, 18. How much you are getting? 2 as a remainder. Is that clear? So once again I told you 3 as is well in the denominator. This quotient part will have our whole number and this 2, the remainder will be our numerator. See, <clears throat> in this way we will convert our improper fraction to mixed fraction. I hope you have